Hi there! I was asked by a friend to do a quick tutorial on how I do Sleeping Beauty fringes for cosplay, so I um, decided to film it as a video because texts and photos make this really hard to explain. Um, it's just easier to show you, so here it goes. Um, basically this technique is something I use um, for wigs that don't need to stay in the same style. Um, I, I use the same wig for um, one as I do for another so it makes it easier to do it with pins rather than with glue or hairspray or anything. Um, this is quite a simple style to do with that. So um, basically it's based off the victory roll in vintage hairstyles um, to do a rolled fringe but it's a slight variation on the technique. Um, the basic technique um, is to use the front fringe area and take the section you want to do the roll with and you take a finger and you wrap the hair around the finger and that forms a loop and then you take your thumb and forefinger and you pinch the hair on both sides and continue to do this as you roll upwards which looks like that um, usually you'd leave that as a roll um, but for Sleeping Beauty obviously to get the curl in the middle what I do is I slant it off to one side before I fasten it. Um, to fasten a roll like this, you take a pin and slide it into the hair through the centre of the loop. Then to fasten it more securely, you take a second pin and you fasten it in a cross. Just slide that up into the top of the wig. If you need more pins, use more pins. Um, this is one of those things where it takes a lot of teasing to try and get it to look right and how you want it. Um, they do look better if you can hide the pins a little bit better in the middle of the roll. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it as long as you've got blonde pins that work with the wig. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to stick another pin in the top because that's not staying. <laughs> I usually spend hours doing this on the morning of doing a Sleeping Beauty cosplay, just fiddling with it because I'm a perfectionist, but the technique works all the same. And then with the other side, once again, roll it around the finger, pinch it up, and then what I do is I pin that sideways back into the wig. Again, it's one of those things you fiddle with forever to get it to look perfect, but that's how it works. Then you take a section at the back of the wig that's longer, pull it forward just to hide the seam of where that fringe has gone into the wig. Do the same on both sides. And then when you put the hairband on, you sit it further forwards so that you've got those long areas pushing forwards and hiding the wig. And there we go. That's the quickest and simplest way to do it. Um, and it creates the style without the need for glue or hairspray or any of that. Um, I hope that's been useful. Okay, um, 